Hi friends, it is Susan from Mellow Pine. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Today we are back with another two-hour project, this X bench. This is a beginner build that uses only pocket hole joinery. The link to the plants are on our blog Mellow Pine that you can find in the description below. We built it for our living room and we are super excited to show you how we built. So let's get started. First step, we took the lumber for the X brace and the base of the bench. We took 2x4 lumber to make these pieces. We made 4 pieces for the two X brace legs with 16 inch land length and both edges mitered at 22.5 degrees on the miter saw. For the base, we made 2 pieces of length 12 inches each from the 2x4. We then made the half lap slots in the pieces as per the plan. We had to make slots of 3 quarter inch depth in each X brace piece. The location for the slots was marked at 8 inch distance from one edge and 3 and 1 by 16 inch length from the other edge. This was repeated for all 4 brace pieces. As you can see, we are marking the half lap join locations as per the plan. We marked these on all the 4 slant pieces for the legs. These slots will be cut out to make the half lap join later. Next we had to mark the depth of cut. We used the marking gauge to mark the 3 quarter inch depth in each piece. Actually, we measured 3 quarter inch for setting the marking gauge first and then used the marking gauge for all the other pieces. When marking small lengths, a marking gauge is definitely more accurate than a tape. You need the measurements to be the same everywhere for the pieces to fit together well. After that, we set all the pieces on the table next to each other such that the markings on each piece formed a continuous line. We used the circular saw along with the Craig AccuCut guide to make cuts along both the lines. When doing the cut, it's better to clamp all the pieces to the workbench. We did not clamp them down but we don't advise going this way. If you can, use a bench clamp to keep your pieces fixed. Then we made two more similar cuts along the center of the slot as well. Another option is to make this cut on the table saw, but we try to minimize the use of advanced tools so that the beginner DIYers can make our projects. We then chiseled out the slots up to the marked depth using a chisel and a hammer. The cuts with the circular saw make it easy to chisel the wood out. We really love using the chisel, but if you don't want to use a chisel, a trim router is a better option here. A router will also do the job perfectly. We try to dry fit at this point and everything fit well. Then we moved on to the top board of the bench. We took a 3 quarter inch by 11 and a quarter inch board and cut out a 36 inch length from the board piece. We then sanded everything all the way from 120 grit to 220 grit. Now we went to put the X-Brace together. We applied glue in the half lap and joined the X-Brace together. Since we wanted to complete the project quickly, as it was done as a 2 hour project challenge, we used wood screws to join the X-Brace pieces instead of clamping and waiting for the glue to dry. With screws, you gotta drill the pilot hole, countersink the screw head and use the impact driver to fix the screw. We used two wood screws for each brace of one and a quarter inch length. Make sure to apply just enough glue inside the half lap slot. Ideally, after you screw the braces together, a tiny trickle of glue should seep out of the edges and that's when you know it's right. To attach the X braces to the base, we centered the X brace on the base as per the plan. We repeated the same step for the other leg as well. We drilled 2.5 inch wood screws from the bottom of the base toward the X brace to join them together. We drilled pilot holes before this and countersank them as well. 
Apply glue before attaching the screws for better strength. Now that both the legs were ready, we went to fix them to the top of the bench. We centered the leg along the shorter edge of the board and along the longer edge, we fixed it such that the board shuddered 6 inches from the outer edge of both the leg pieces. We marked this length of the board and drilled the pilot holes on the board for screwing. Then we countersank the pilot hole. After this, we used 2.5 inches long screws to join the top board to the legs. I know the measurements may sound a bit confusing, so feel free to check out our blog Melopine for free plans of this build. Coming back to the point, remember to apply glue before attaching the board to the legs. It's important to center everything carefully before screwing. Now after the bench is ready for finishing, we use the Vintage Aqua stain from Varathane to stain the bench. Vintage Aqua is not everyone's favorite, but we really like it. So here we have the X bench completed quickly and easily. This is a beginner build you can do without many tools. If you like this video, do subscribe to our channel and let us know what you think in the comments below. We'll be back with a killer project next week, so until then, happy DIYing!